You've just spent your hard-earned cash on a holiday to London, and you've just spotted a random £2 sale on Ryanair flights online, and have now booked an impromptu flight to a random village in Poland or Italy. Now, it's time to get to the airport. Stansted Airport is home to a number of low-cost carriers like Ryanair, TUI and Jet2, and is a go-to airport for them flights to random places across Europe. There are a number of methods to get there from London, including by bus and by train, and this video will focus on the train, more specifically, the Stansted Express. The method for getting into London from the airport is exactly the opposite and should be easy to follow from watching this video. Stansted Express services reach London Liverpool Street Station to the east of central London and is easily reached by a number of tube lines, the Elizabeth Line, local buses and your cabs slash Ubers too. Liverpool Street is a very big and busy station so when getting the train to Stansted, you should give yourself some time to navigate the area. Down at platform level, there's a big display showing train times for all the mainline trains heading from here. To the far right, spot the sections showing trains towards Stansted. We'll be focusing on that. But first, you'll need a ticket. And I'm going to place a disclaimer right here. Listen, you, kind person, you watching this video, I beg you, do not use contactless payment or Oyster cards to get on this train. Don't you dare do it. Buy a ticket online. Don't be a gullible tourist. Look, this is the only airport, because no one gives two cornflakes about Southland Airport anymore, that doesn't allow either contactless or oyster to travel to the airport. Like, it's everywhere. The signs are everywhere. You see it on the website. Please don't fall for this mistake. These trains make at least one stop in the Transport for London Oyster slash contactless boundary and the stops, the barriers, the signs, everything makes it clear, very clear that you'll be fined for using Oyster or contactless if you try to go to Stansted Airport. If you don't want to lose over £120 from your alcohol budget for your trip, listen to me, your trusty someone explores. For the Stansted Express, you can either buy your tickets online beforehand or at the station. For most people, it's advisable that you buy your tickets at StanstedExpress.com where you can get fares for as low as £9.70 when you book well in advance. Regular fares for a single journey as of late 2023 is £21.90 and £34.60 for return. It's not the cheapest at all, but there are more possibilities for saving money. If you have a rail card, you can save a third off the regular fare, which you can book on the train line or Greater Anglia, for example. Or at a ticket machine or booking office, to be fair, bringing it down to £14.45 and £22.80, respectively. So I hope what you got from that is no contactless, no oyster. Please, I beg you, please. Oh. Now, I've got my ticket ready. I'm heading to the platform. I'm a train is late, of course, but there's no need to rush because I always make sure that I leave enough time to get to the airport if anything goes wrong. Trains to Stansted normally leave to the far side of the station, closest to the entrance where you've got the tube and the McDonald's with the singing guy. Stansted Express runs these 12 car flirt trains which are very long. You'll see why you want to move down when the train gets to its first intermediate stop at Tottenham Hale. Now what I say, if you're getting a Stansted Express from London, Liverpool Street, don't get on at the back of the train, go all the way down. There's 12 cars on this train, move down, because I swear not. If you want to end up on a full train at Tottenham Hill, stay at the back. Look at this, look at this. Skip the queue, skip the queue, and move down. These trains are probably some of the best on the network as they have level boarding which is useful for hauling your bags onto the train or if you are mobility impaired. As you board you can refer to the onboard information screen to see where the parts of the train are quieter and have seats available where the facilities are, like the toilets and stuff, and 
yeah just get yourself used to being on the train it also shows estimated arrival times and real-time information for travel connections in terms of luggage there are a number of racks dotted around the train located near each set of doors there's ample space above for medium-sized bags and also under the seats where you can get a regular sized suitcase or bag in quite nicely in this airline style seat you have a small table which isn't too large the leg space is enough but a part of the seat in front might just block your leg off if you're quite tall there's also a uk plug socket between the seats which i don't seem to show here There are also seats of four dotted around the train if you're feeling a bit social on your train up to the airport. Here we go, off to Stansted Airport. Look right, speak to staff. Valid for travel on Stansted Express beyond Tottenham Hale. Please do not travel to Stansted Airport without a valid ticket, as you will be liable for a £100 penalty fare. Our train is scheduled to take around 50 minutes to get there. Depending on the time of day, especially in the AM and the PM peak, this may take longer. These trains have a number of intermediate stops and also operate as a commuter service up to the penultimate stop. During most of the day, trains are every half an hour, but in the AM and PM peak, you do get trains every 15 minutes. This train will be stopping at Tottenham Hill, Bishop Stortford, and the airport. The first stop is Tottenham Hill, around 13 minutes later. Tottenham Hill has interchanged the Greater Anglia services to Stratford, which is timetable to link in with our train. There's also the London Underground Victoria Line which heads into central London via King's Cross and Pancras, Oxford Circus and Victoria. You might find that travelling here via the Victoria Line is more convenient than travelling to Liverpool Street. And here, the no contact list slash oyster warnings are strong. Changing from the tube, you'll need to tap out on that barrier, oyster contact list but then you'd have to get your airport ticket out to get through to the other barrier. We leave again and it's straight down to the next stop, Bishop Stortford. Some trains may also stop at Harlow Town and or Stansted Mount Fidget. On board, there is free Wi-Fi that you can connect to, which is quick and easy. The train diverges off and heads on to the airport branch line. Fifty minutes later, we arrive at the airport. Top tip. To get out of the station quickly, I recommend sitting in cars 4 to 6. There's a one-way system at the station which you will need to queue up to get your ticket checked so they can slap you with that £100 fine. See here what I think about these queues. So guys, this is why you make sure you get your ticket your ticket will be either scanned or checked there 
So make sure you don't use your Insta card because <laughs> it's going to be a bit long for you. And if you haven't actually bought a ticket, you've still got one more chance before you get into the queue. One thing I'll say is, this is not ideal if you're late for a flight. I think Sunset Express could do a bit better with these queues and whatnot. Because it seems like people are taking the lifts. Instead of taking lifts, instead of waiting in this queue, why don't you just put ticket barriers in? Yeah, lads, this is not good enough at all. If this is what Great Anglia are trying to do, then it's not efficient at all. Like, if you're late for a flight and you're waiting in this queue, you're, you're stressed. Well, it's up the escalator into the terminal. Departures and domestic arrivals are to your left, and international arrivals are to your right. If you're heading into London from the airport, from international arrivals, follow the signs for the train station, which are easy to spot. If you're coming from domestic, you're gonna have to like go outside and then come back inside and just follow the signs from there. It's, it's a bit of a mess. Head down this ramp where you'll be greeted with ticket machines, a ticket office, and some very expensive vending machines. You'll have your tickets checked unless it is very early or very late in the day. Hope that helps and hopefully you enjoy your travels here in London and abroad. Well, hopefully I've kind of given you an idea of how to get from London Liverpool Street into Stansted Airport and in the other direction as well. I'm heading up to the terminal. I'm gonna go get my flight. And I'll catch you in the next video. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like, comment, subscribe. I seem to be doing all the airports now, so if there's an airport that you want me to cover, I might as well go and do it, uh, within reason. It's been your boy, Someone Explores. I'll catch you in the next video. Yeah, yeah. Suey, Yamas Balch. Yes, boys. See you in a bit.